ladies and gentlemen this year's theme for women's day is break the biasness break the biasness as far as possible i have tried my best to give equal opportunities to women and today we have a princess not from any country but from the toast masters international in district 80 and she is a wonderful and bubbly person distinguished toast master eliza hello hello how are you today yeah i'm great how about you i'm fine and i'm feeling wonderful just being you eliza there are many people out there who want to know where did you come from how did you join toast masters who made you become a member of this wonderful fellowship known as toast masters international could you share with us some thoughts on that Yeah, well, thank you very much for the question, Abangku. By the way, I'm Eliza. I come from Indonesia. My mother is Singaporean. I actually staying in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. So actually, I don't know anything about Toastmaster. But uh, one day, my friend told me that Eliza, you need to join this wonderful club. And I thought Toastmaster is about foodie club. Yeah. So that time, I was in a very bad situation. She told me that. you will find a great people here that can motivate you back to your real state so i went to one of the club and i fell in love with the club without knowing that actually toastmaster is a very big great organization so Wonderful. i just joined like so i just joined like i want to make a friends a few friends there but it's turned out that toastmaster is a very big organization and we have in few uh, 140 countries and it's really amazed me yeah so that's my how my journey turned up well eliza not did you just join toast masters you have done a number of feats that some of us will just have to do this when we listen for example you have traveled to more than 140 countries am i correct yeah or is it more than that 147 147 countries yeah. globally virtually and virtually. you did something that i myself thought was quite a feat you chartered the world travelers tours masters club consisting of tours masters from various countries various time zones race language religion you have really broken all the barriers now what was it that give you that impetus that um to do this i never thought that i'm going to be in this stage when i joined is more likely because of the pandemic and i just lost my mom so feeling of loneliness then um desperate make me tell that if i'm not do something i'm maybe i'm going to jump from the flat or whatever i don't know I I'm alone that time and I just keep myself that I need to do something that benefit for myself. So I'm trying to keep myself motivating, motivating myself. And I met with the Toastmasters. Then after that, I realized that we have a Toastmaster around the world. And you know, when you are in the morning time, all the sadness will come only at night, and I cannot, I couldn't sleep. And I say it's impossible for me to cry all the time. I'm not going into a depression. So. I open my laptop finding clubs and I met one person it's just like magic that God gave me she introduced me to all the awesome people and this person was the one who take me to a nice next step they said uh, they they are the one who make me travel the worlds with them and one of them is you I met you during my my wondrous also right <laughs> so it's very powerful yeah if not I cannot see I don't know you even i was in singapore but i'm very new in toastmaster and actually i start my toastmaster journey not in singapore but outside the country that's how i i i do wonderful well joining toastmasters is something but chartering not one but two club when you are an area director and then receiving the area director of the year okay three area director of the year and also toastmaster of the year that is really awesome how did you do it what made you do it or rather who was there to give you that that boost that encouragement that support i'm sure there will be quite a number of people i'm not sure whether you have the time to 
mention all the names, but perhaps you can just highlight a few. Well, actually, when I become an area director, I don't know anything about area directors, but I just tell myself that I will do the best. And I'm the person that whatever I spend, I want to get the, uh, I want to use everything uh, very well. So when I become an area director, nobody tell me that I need to do this, to do that. But suddenly one person told me, charter a club. I said, for what? And I never dream to have a inter, uh, never dream to have a president distinguished area or something like that. I just want to say I want to learn. So during that time, I'm so lucky. I have my, I have my superior, my division A director, district director, Katito, who who are the one, and also our CGD that time, Swana Kalian. They really give me a support. So whatever I want to do, all the craziness that I want to make, even they say like, huh, you really want to do? Yes. Then after that, they give me the, they give me the idea and they support me with everything. So that's what I, I, I also don't know how I charter these three clubs. For world travelers, I have a lot of bless. Uh, my friends, Ramesh from UK, then we also have Betty and Peck as one of the mentor of this wonderful club. And every time I go everywhere, a uh, few people will just say like, oh, world travelers, we also want to know each other. So to for the world travelers, it's quite easy to charter because everybody have the same ideas about knowing each other from all around the world. Great. Um, we get these world travelers only in one month. We already get 10 DCP points. Yeah. But I charter another club, Mona Lisa, in only seven days. And I need to thank with everyone that joined because they trust me and they just like, okay, Eliza, we will help you to charter. We will, we will create something for the world for the benefit of the people. So there is a Mona Lisa. And one more is a Serikat Toastmaster Club. For Serikat, it's a bit magic. I just tell one person and this one person bring 20 people and charter a club. So it's amazing. So <laughs> uh, for me, it's this, uh, Sorry, uh, for this Serik Cut, is it a, 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 an English club or a bilingual club? Okay, for Serik Cut, it's for the Indonesian student in Singapore. Yeah. So they have their own friends. They are finding their friends. Actually, I, I asked them, do you want to have this club or not? And they are almost say. Uh, we are busy study and this and suddenly they just call me okay we already have 16 members so i it's a little bit of push they have more four more members and sorry katos master club my second club that i charter last time when i listen to you and when i look at you you seem like a very simple person nobody will believe that you could achieve so many things it's really amazing the way you can go around. I think one of your qualities, strengths, I would say, is being humble and willing to listen to the the suggestions of advice of others who are more senior than you, my experience. One thing that uh, I really love about you is that your daringness. And I remember once you did a table topic session where you say, truth or dare. And you had all these funny, funny things that you would ask them to do. It was very, very uh, unique. Now, for me, I love people who come with unique ideas. One thing I would like to ask you is that you see the, our audience. There are a lot of women out there who may have come into Toastmasters, but they may think this is another place where the men are dominating it. As a woman, I can't do much. There's a glass ceiling and so forth. What do you have to say to such people? I mean, it's not only women. There could also be others those who are very young, those who are very, uh, you know, just joined because they are in their 50s or 60s, but think that it's uh, not possible for them to do many things for such people, people who think that at a disadvantage. Yeah, well, for me, women have one power that men actually not really have strength in that. Strength uh -huh. Sharing women. some secret, right? What is that? What is that uh, secret? For women, they have more heart. I mean, like, they are more empathy and they're more understanding to others. So, doing whatever I do for women, actually, if you want to become... I'm not sure, sure. I, I, I don't think that I'm still a great leader. I still need to learn from many people. But what I did during my journey in Toastmaster is, one, be humble, make a lot of friends, listen to them. And I believe that everybody, actually, in everywhere, they just need an ear to listen so be the listener to others say that be again, there say that again. For them. 
be there for them. Be what you actually mean is that give them that listening ear. Everyone yeah. wants some attention, some presence, some recognition, some visibility. And if you can find out or we can find out what it is and give it to them, then they will do their best. Yes. Am I correct to say that? Correct. Right. Yes. So even it's in the club. If the club, you don't feel the connection between each other, you don't present for them, the club will die. But if you dare give them a motivation, all the members will feel like, oh, I'm the family, I'm part of this club. And whatever it is, they will come back. Because why? They need the family. Uh, this is what I learned. And also, I learned from someone yesterday. Empathy is the most important thing. Don't just want to be a leader and show that you have the power. But now I challenge myself to be a leader without a title. How you can do that? Because last time people will just do with every title, I can do this and that. But how about without title? Will you still able to serve others? That's a big question. So I hope that if you can help and serve people with a more empathy, more love, more caring, this place is going to be awesome. Not only in Toastmaster, but in real world also. In your daily wow. activities, I wish they bring you to some international forum to speak, because you have so many motivating ideas, full of empathy, oh. sympathy. I still need to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning from many people, not just me. Yeah. Uh, when we are in Toastmasters, we try our best to maneuver ourselves out of the politics. Politics exists everywhere. And I believe you are one of those who have managed to handle it quite well. Mm. Whether it's uh, power politics, gender politics. For me, every time people try to get me into this, I will do it my way. I find another way. And as long as we have our goal in everything, we should have a goal. We have a focus. So just do what you think your heart say, right? That's all. Okay, now, the important question. What are your future plans? Get on a married. personal level, on a society level. Okay, lah. personal level, you tell me I'm going to get married. Lah. You're going to get married. <laughs> For in Toastmaster, I still don't have any plan. But the thing is, um, my mentor told me that once you are in Toastmaster, you will be in Toastmaster forever in your life. And I want to be like that. I want to learn slowly. Because so many people say that what I did in Toastmaster is too fast. And now I try to slow and enjoy all the time. What I can learn, make more people, make more friends. I think it's going to be more fun for me. And one thing for the person like me that maybe I already have something high, many people expect for me. So the challenge for me maybe for the next term is like what I say. I want to serve without the title. So that's what I'm I'm trying to do. So I don't have any plan to take this and that for now. But okay. if they give me, I will think over because, you know, I'm staying in Johor, not in Singapore. And I don't want to go up and down. It's going to be very tired. And I don't know, I can serve or not. But for me, as long as I can serve, I can be friends with others, make them as my family, it will be more. Apart from District 80, you're also a member of another club, right? In the USA. Am I correct to say that? Yeah, could you share with us your experience with the Americans? Oh, actually, not only Americans. I want to break a little bit about me. Last term, I was a member of seven clubs. Wow. So one in Australia, one is in US, one in Saudi Arabia. And in Australia, I'm quite glad and I was chosen to be one in the poster for the PRM to promote uh, Toastmaster in Australia. So even I never been in Australia, my face was in the mall. <laughs> so I was like, ah. yeah, picture first, then the person will come later. In Saudi, I also managed well. I was the VPE of a champion club and working with them is very, very fun. I learned a lot from them because they are also a champion. What's the name of the club? I'm sure the people would want to know, right? Yeah. Uh, in Australia, my club is only for the Muslim, uh, Muslim women. It's a uh, is a Himartos Master Club. We chatter with all the Muslim leadership, Muslim leadership. Then in Saudi, we have Horizon Toastmaster Club. It's my second family. I really love them because 
they are the one who make me a champion even in district 80 even is only in area level but the support they give me is tremendously unfortunately now i cannot continue with them because the meeting is 12 midnight i i need to continue my life i cannot wake up understand uh, late. Understand. uh america i joined a soft county uh, presenter this soft county presenter is just like my parents club because all the people there is much older than me. Most of them are district officer in District 33. They are giving me a lot of support, uh, sharing their knowledge and experience with me. And they love me so much. So every year I will get a present from USA, which make me like, wow, I love this Toastmaster because I only not made a friend, but I also made a family. And in Singapore, as you know, now I'm a president for this World Travelers Club. We are, I'm trying to put all my friends all around the world into <laughs> one club. So I don't have to go to many clubs. And this is the the things that I really try to recognize all my friends. So join World Travelers. I don't know. So we can still connect with each other. You know, the first club. time you told me about World Travelers Club, I thought I need to have a passport. And my passport had expired. <laughs> you that's why oh. I never joined yet. By the way, uh, world travelers, our motto is let's um let's fly pass passportless. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I can see that you are really enjoying the journey in those passes. And it's really nice to hear from you that you've learned so much in those passes. Many people don't realize that it's not about presenting speeches or giving feedback or taking part in contests. It's more than that. It's the French that you meet. It's the people that you meet. I mean, in, Q in your case, you would have met people across different countries, different time zones, race, language, religion, political differences, and so forth. And I'm sure you would agree that everywhere, people are the same. It's just we are in different countries, that's all. Many ways, we, we look at life the same way. We have the same struggles. We have the same challenges, maybe in different proportions, maybe in different uh, sizes, but the struggles are the same, the experience is the same. And as they say, the only ship that doesn't sink is friendship. And that is one ship you have acquired. You have, in fact, that is one ship that can last for a long time. And you have a lot of ship. Friendship, yes, I'm really blessed about that. I agree with that. And all my friends that I met in Toastmaster, they have become my backbone. They are always support me in everything. And I really, truly bless. Like, a Toastmaster journey is like a blessing for me. It's just like, uh, you never know that suddenly, I never dreamed to be a Toastmaster. I even don't know what is the words of Toastmaster last time. But suddenly, you just go into that, somebody push me, and here I am with all the people that actually support me, with all my ideas, they never say no. Yeah, sometimes you will get a net negativity feedback, but this is how you manage all the negativity. I had a lot of struggles in Toastmaster. Even I have a lot of not easy journey. But I thank God. Everything is like make me more mature, make me grow better person, how to forgive people. Not everyone will be happy with your successness, right? You only You always know that. Not everything yes. is always smooth, True. but this is make you a better person, make you make you realize that the world is like this, how to forgive, how to forget. It's amazing journey. Yeah. This thing is Toastmaster Eliza, talking to you has been really wonderful. I'm sure those who are listening to this video and watching it will learn a lot from you. And I hope more people will come into Toastmasters to realize the benefits and spread the fragrance around. Any final message before we say goodbye? This is what I did in my journey in Toastmaster. Never say no. Always take the opportunity. And if you find something that's blocking you, never complain, but look at, at the positive side. And when you feel happy and take the positive side, all the good things will come only to you. So this is what I really feel in Toastmasters and believe that whatever it is, Toastmasters is the place for you to grow, 
focus on that. Whatever people try to make you down, focus that you want to grow. And you don't know, forget, I... whatever you do, empathy, heart, take care of others. What you said came from the heart. It's not from a script. And that's very wonderful. Because sometimes people <laughs> do certain things and you know it's not from their heart. It's just off the cuff or from somewhere they had memorized. But you, you're too. speaking from your heart, from your experience, from what you have, uh, challenges you have faced. You and me are the same, right? The more you have planned, the more you you write, the more you script, the more you have everything, you stop. You cannot grow. Yes. And the more you look at the script or everything, the more you make a mistake. And you cannot do whatever you want to do. And many people will hit you. But the more you be freedom, freedom in your action, in thinking and everything, actually, that's what I did always. Jump first and think after that. <laughs> very, very interesting way to look at life. Yeah. Yes, for some people it works that way. For others, it may not work. As we know, God gave us five fingers to tell us people are different and that's what we are learning always. Thank you. Correct. Our princess from District 80, Distinct Stores Master Eliza, it's always wonderful coming to your club meetings and taking a role or even being there. I sincerely hope that you will achieve more in life and be a, an example Many men and women, not to forget them, right? And you have actually shown that the biasness can be broken when we put our heart and soul into whatever we do. And you are a living example. I find it an honor to have interviewed you. I wish you all the best. And let's look for more wonderful days ahead in the year 2023. Yeah. Thank you very much, Avanko. And thank you very much for the audience. <laughs>